Hey guys, thanks for checking in another Vorschlag Tech Tip video. This will be brief. It's kind of an addendum to the video I made about one week ago where I talked about brakes from the S197 and S550 generation Mustangs. One of the things we talked about in our last video was this, the horrid inverted hat design rotor uh, that's 14 inches in diameter that comes on the base 2015 and up Mustang GT and the EcoBoost cars. Uh, they come with this rather sizable and nice looking caliper uh, that is a massive thing compared to the S197's caliper, which is about two-thirds as big. Um, we had hoped that we could get some use out of this rotor and caliper uh, in the short term while we waited for a brand new prototype uh, 380 millimeter six-piston caliper kit from Power Break out of South Africa. The first six weeks of owning this car, we actually drove the car at six different track days. Uh, so we've done a lot of testing and we tried the stock pads that were gone in eight laps. We tried a G-Lock R8 pad in the front and then we tried G-Lock R16 pads front and rear. Uh, and at that test day, uh, it didn't get any better. Um, there, and, and it wasn't a brake pad thing, it wasn't a fluid thing. We put Motil fluid in from day one. Uh, it's actually this rotor design. It is terrible. Um, and my video has thousands and thousands of views and it actually got to the original designer of the brake system on the S550 Mustang. Um, and he reached out to me and we're going to have a call this Friday uh, scheduled. He no longer works at Ford so he's not under a gag order anymore. But what he told me, and, and I believe the guy to be true, I checked into him, he's, he, he did work at Ford, um, is that when this chassis was built, they copied a lot of things from German cars. Uh, the front suspension has a double ball jointed A-arm that's straight out of BMW. Uh, the rear suspension is very BMW-esque. Um, and the brake rotors, uh, they mimicked this inverted hat design from some other German automakers that are even on some of the AMGs um, that are typically on luxury cars that don't get driven hard. This inverted hat design has some mysterious feature that's supposedly better for street use and we haven't gotten to that in our conversations back and forth, but he did mention that it is absolutely horrid for track use because the way that the rotor is designed, there's no way to get any real cooling in it. And it does a very poor job of pulling in air from the wheel side to cool through the rotor. Um, and I'll show that here. There's no way to cool it for track use. Now the S197 chassis uh, used a smaller caliper, it's about two thirds as big, uh, four piston, and a similarly sized inch and a quarter by 14 inch front rotor and with some brake cooling and good pads those can work for most track guys uh, with that 2005 to 2014 Mustang um, and we sell this kit and we sell brake cooling in three and four inch diameters and uh, a lot of brake pads for those cars they go through consumables quickly because it's a 3600 pound car just like the S550 chassis is uh, but it is functional we ran for five years with that kit now, I probably should have upgraded to something better because I did have some incidents with this where we out, out taxed even the, uh, the brake cooling we could do. But that was a really heavy car with a lot of extra power and aero and Hoosiers. And, and I made some mistakes and let the pads get too thin and bad things can happen. So you never want to lose brakes on track. And that's why we're doing these videos is to explain what can happen. Um, for, again, for most guys with the S197, this works pretty well. You can upgrade the rear brakes to this GT500. Uh, caliper and I mean rotor and caliper and that with cooling can work really well for almost everyone. Uh, there's still improvements to be had by going to a real motorsports caliper and a real two-piece rotor um, and we've tested that on S1i7s and it's a big improvement. Uh, their 350 millimeter six piston kit works really really well and I can't wait to try the 380 millimeter experimental kit on our S550 in the coming weeks. Now again this rotor directly from the engineer that designed the system should never be used in a track car. And I mean never. Uh, and that's from the guy that designed it. The 15 inch version that's an inch bigger and has a six piston caliper that's about the same size and uses about the same size pad is a non-inverted hat. But it originally was an inverted hat design like this. And this engineer that I'm talking with uh, said that this inverted hat design on the 15 inch didn't work. And they did track testing and it had horrible results. And he had to do actual data and, and you know, with temperatures and track testing. And, to, and he had to convince management to let him design a, a non-inverted, a regular rotor for the 15 inch. Um, and it was done at the very last minute and it was close call. Uh, it could have been a disaster. The, the performance pack cars would have been 
a complete flop because they wouldn't have worked on track. Just like this doesn't work on track uh, in any form that I can see. Maybe the green group HPDE guys can get by, you know, they're just cruising around at 50%, but if you're even semi-serious, this is gonna leave you off in the, in the weeds. And I've gone off on these brakes multiple times. My wife, who's not nearly as aggressive, but is still a time trial driver, uh, she can kill these in about three laps. I can kill them in one, um, and they're, they're really bad. So we upgraded in the short term before our power brake kits gear we, uh, gets here, we upgraded to a six piston caliper and a 15 inch non-inverted hat rotor from the 15 and up performance pack one and performance pack two cars. We put those in our car last week. We immediately put it on the trailer and uh, we, you know, we've had G-lock pads front and rear. We made brake uh, backing plates and cooling, four inch cooling, um, and it should have been more than adequate. I ignored the advice of one guy online, Chris Winnie, who said, yeah, you, it's a different master cylinder, it's not gonna work. Well, when we would upgrade the two piston S197s to this four piston design, we never changed the master or the booster, and they worked fine. Uh, so I was like, well, he's probably just, you know, overthinking this, and it's probably a slightly different, no, it's a big difference. Uh, the, we just got off the phone with the power brake guys in South Africa, the engineers, Oscar uh, and um, Leon, and they said, yeah, the, the piston diameters inside this four piston caliper are vastly different than what come in the uh, six piston version on the S550. Uh, it's a 9% difference in surface area. Not 4%, guys, not the garbage numbers that are being thrown about, 9%. And they said that is significant hydraulically. So they said, yeah, there's no way that, that master cylinder will work. If you go from this master cylinder to this six piston caliper, it's not gonna work. And that's exactly what we saw at NOLA this past week. Uh, we drove Thursday at the track night in America, did two sessions, it was a disaster. I mean, the brakes would work for like one stop and then they, they wouldn't work at all and they never worked great. And I had to press really, really hard on the pedal uh, to get the car to even slow down. Uh, and I had raced at this track many times before in two different cars and I was braking 200 feet early everywhere and barely making corners. Uh, it cost us seconds on track, it was a disaster. Saturday we ran an autocross with the Optima Series and we won that event, uh, 29 cars, beat them all uh, on my first run. Uh, but we didn't really use the brakes there. Uh, but in the speed stop competition Sunday and the track event on Sunday, the car did horribly. And I just could not get the car to stop. It was a really frustrating day. And I'm like, man, I've upgraded the best caliper, the bigger rotor that the OEM ever made. And everyone swears by these things. We did brake cooling, the best pads, best fluid. Car wouldn't stop, I mean, would not stop. And I was pulling on the steering wheel and pressing the brake as hard as I could. I pulled a muscle in my arm and went one of my ankles trying to get this car to stop. And it was, it was just flat out dangerous. Uh, and sure enough, when I talked to the power brake guys, they're like, oh yeah, the hydraulics are all wrong for that. You've got the wrong master cylinder car. So that's ordered and we'll be here this week. We'll do another track test this weekend at a track we know uh, well, ECR, uh, to verify that, yeah, you actually do have to change the master. And we're actually changing the booster as well. It's a different part number. Um, and it's a different throw for the performance pack S550. So we're gonna change those. Uh, the reason the power brake guys were asking, because they were following what we were talking about on social media, and they said, well, they'll design the caliper, and they make every caliper to order for most of these kits. Uh, and this is a prototype kit, but they can change the piston sizes in, inside the caliper itself to work with the different bore diameter of the master cylinder. So they can make this caliper fit the master from the 14 inch or 15 inch uh, factory S550 brakes. So we're gonna go with the 15 inch stuff because we're gonna change that later this week to do one more test with the OEM 15 inch brakes before we go to the power brake kit. So uh, just know that sometimes everything you read on the internet's not right and sometimes people are right. Uh, Chris, we should have listened to you. Uh, you were right about the master cylinder and the booster. Those parts are coming, they weren't expensive. If I'd, have, if I'd have had a little bit more planning involved and read your post a little bit sooner, I'd have done that before with Enola, and we wouldn't have had such a disastrous showing at that event. But again, this car is all about testing. Uh, on our seventh test day, it was a flop. Uh, hopefully t day number eight goes a little bit better, and I'm confident that with the right hydraulics, we can get the car to stop on some OEM-based stuff before we go jump off the deep end with power brake. All right, that's all I got for this time, guys. Thanks for checking in. We'll see you next time.